Hey, once again, it's your soccer zombie here. Home opener time on a chilly night. Definitely not as nice as it was uh, Tuesday as we're going to have temperatures down in the 30s by the time this game is over. But it is St. Louis versus Real Salt Lake today. Real Salt Lake coming into this one with a, well, of course, it's a home opener. So no one's played anything. Of course, Real Salt Lake played Inter-Miami in the Champions Cup Tuesday and uh, got messied. Although it wasn't actually Messi that scored, but you get the idea. Uh, last year, they were fifth in the Western Conference. Bit of a leaky defense, but they have players of talent that can score. So I think this one might be a high-scoring affair given both teams. But you were so wrong! And uh, in the meantime, St. Louis coming off the 2-1 to win this past Tuesday off Houston. Still vibing to Jose Kojima. Curious to see what lineup changes we have tonight. Might see Luffy Thorison. He was apparently chomping at the bit to get into the game this past Tuesday and didn't like that he didn't get in. Uh, will we see the debut of Nicholas Dewar on the left? We'll see because Marcanic played on Tuesday. We can now rotate our guys. Will Totlin be back? He had a really good game on Tuesday, but will we see Nerwinski in the spot instead? Is Joachim Nilsson ready? Lots of questions. Let's see if we can get some answers. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch First game of the season, y'all ready for a win, bro? Alright, alright, man, I wanna see what y'all know, man Let's try some stuff out, drop that on Switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the I have never seen lines like this for any St. Louis City SC game. They're giving away a banner to the first 10,000 fans. I think that's got people kind of jittery. Wow. So this is what the hubbub was about. This is the long lines. That's why we had the long lines for this banner. They only gave away 10,000 of them. Although, you know what? Like, it was not that bad. Yeah, they got us through really quick. Yeah, they totally. really did get us through really quick. Yep. So, guys, it's been a long off season. What have you guys done with yourselves? Oh my gosh, what have we done with ourselves in the off season? A lot of hockey. Let's see. Uh, Germany hockey. Went to Lots Germany. Of stuff. Yeah, went to yeah. Germany. Went to tour. Uh, so the proof that St. Louis City SC fans are resourceful. If we can't have soccer here, we'll go elsewhere. We so will. Yeah. we will. We'll yeah. go anywhere. We'll yeah. go anywhere. So um, new, some new signings this off season. Any uh, of the three that you're particularly excited to see? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? I don't really know. I haven't seen all the signings yet. I'm talking about Cots, man. I'm talking about Cots. I think he's going to be. I'm, it was exciting to watch him play the other day. I think it's great. I mean, I don't know if you, you consider Jose a new signing. Is Kojima signing? That counts. That counts. I mean, I, that was exciting on Tuesday. We weren't here on Tuesday. We were watching it at home on TV, but it was great. Yeah. Um, that kid's going to be special, I think. I, I hope. Uh, it's, I think it's awesome watching young guys come up, right? Like, I, I like seeing young kids come up and play. And, so I'm excited to see him, see what he does this season. All right, score prediction, Real Salt Lake. What do you got? I, I saw you put 4-1, or you, you put, or no, you put 4-0. I, I, I got to be optimistic. It's a home opener. But you were uh, so wrong. My wife here puts... Uh, I put 4-1. I like it. I said 2-1. I said 2-1. 3-1. Uh, 3-1. Okay, meeting in the middle. I like all, it. All a victory. A victory. No. Victory. Well done. Well done. All right. Let's go City. Let's go City. Your mind's got the key ingredients, believe uh, They deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go John Nelson, I would say hi, but you blocked me on Twitter, so... Oh well Big line out the City Goods store because of the opening day patch that they sell. 
I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But this is the south end of the stadium. This side of City Park was very, very congested last year because they had a farm truck uh, concession stand basically where you're looking, right before the uh, uh, stand there. They still have Amagettis. But I can tell this looks this looks a lot more breathable now compared to where it was uh, last year. Of course, we haven't reached max capacity yet, but uh, yeah, this looks much better than last year. So this is an example of some of the patches that I have. Uh, you can see the Charlotte one up top, Rapids, Seattle, the Capital Classico with uh, KC. This one over here is Miami. Uh, this is what we're all in line for, that and the uh, match day scarf. So we'll see if I'm successful. Mission accomplished. I will say they had plenty of bogeys uh, at the Second minute, big save as a Real Salt Lake player kind of got a break and uh, he was up to the task. So, starting the year off right, Perky. Our low stoppage to play here, 10 minutes in. Uh, still kind of a field out affair so far. No one really getting an advantage early on here as I know Real Salt Lake is content to let St. Louis hold on to the ball a little bit more, which is not St. Louis's game. Uh, a couple more things that I noted, Thorson's playing on the left wing, he's not playing in the forward, so it looks like they're playing more of a standard 4-2-3-1 today. Uh, Nilsson looking good, he uh, uh, looked okay last year coming off that injury, but showed some good hustle early on, tracking down a deep ball to beat a Real Salt Lake player. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of feeling it out here in St. Louis. These non-pro refs are proving to be not very popular, nor very good at their job.
Park here. We're getting a sub already. Tim Parker is going off already uh, with a knock. It looks like Josh Yarrow's coming in. Uh, man of the people, Josh Yarrow. Again, about the this point of the game, still very uh, very much up for grabs. Hot Mob uh, giving St. Louis City SC a slight XG advantage, but it's like .33. It's not much. Um, Real Salt Lake holding on to about 58% of possession, which is the game that um, you know, St. Louis City wants to play. It's just that uh, uh, no one's been able to break through yet for either side. St. Louis has had its moment here the last few minutes, but uh, that breakthrough yet to come. <laughs> This mf -er right here from Sunday's Best, Chicken Sandwich and Fries. And it's gone. Seriously, that was freaking amazing. Sunday's Best over in 203. Check them out. They actually just lost their business in uh, Central West End, but they're going to continue on with City Park this year. Let's help them get them back on their feet because that was an amazing chicken sandwich, y'all. Like, this might be... This is close to the best thing I've ever had here. I still give the kebab at Balkan Treat Box a, uh, uh, the advantage, but as my paper goes away. All right, so it's halftime here at City Park. As you can see the beautiful wheel and uh, Maggie O'Brien's behind me here. Um, not much to say about the first half, honestly. Um, no real great chances for either team except for the headed... Uh, um, that was cleared off the line uh, in the uh, first half that you saw earlier, the second uh, corner kick. Uh, besides that, really kind of a nervy affair. Oh, Real Salt Lake did have that chance early on that Berkey parried away. Um, no one really taking the advantage on this one. Um, even Fotmob kind of agrees. Again, the XG didn't really move from the last time that I checked uh, with uh, St. Louis having a slight advantage. Um, I, the player of the match for St. Louis so far, I would say, is Joachim Nilsson. I heard on the news that an airline pilot spotted Santa's sled on its way in from New York. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you serious, Clark? And I say that because he's come a long way. He, you know, last year was almost a write-off for him because of his injury that he suffered, and he had kind of trouble getting going again. But um, he's looked really good tonight. He's hustled. He's tracked down balls. He has uh, looked very tight on defense. Hope Tim Parker is okay. He uh, got subbed off. Uh, looked like he picked up a knock, and Josh Jarrow had to come in. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm all right. Uh, we'll see what happens here in the second half. See you then. Uh, Josh Jarrow has been down for a little while. He went down grabbing his face. Pulled up, back on his feet. Hopefully he's okay. Remember, he came in for Parker. When he comes back, geez, that is not good. He uh, tried to head a ball, got ran into by another Real Salt Lake player, and he just dropped. Josh Yarrow once again down. Oh man, and I can see over there that they are bringing. That's not good. That's not good. Yarrow being looked at on the sidelines once again. Not deja vu. Totland making a nice block here in the 64th minute. He's had a good game as well. You serious, Clark? Look great Tuesday. Looks great here. He is going to be a force in this league, I think. Very interesting. 
interesting. They would bring in Jake Nerwinski, but not take Totland out. Looks like Totland's going to play further up the pitch. I know that was kind of Dewar's thing, where he can play, you know, left midfield, left winger. I didn't know Totland had this in his locker, though, but we'll see. That makes Murphy great. All right, 70 minute vibe check. Still immaculate. Still immaculate. And everyone's still standing. Even in the upper deck, they're standing. Not everyone, but most. Well, shoot. 1 0 Real Salt Lake. Nice pass, just outside the box. Player is able to turn around and uh, get a free look at Berkey. Berkey couldn't do nothing to stop it. Not the best defense, especially since they're playing a three at the back. Um, a little too leaky there. A little too leaky there. Got some work to do in the last 15 plus. the result that we were looking for but not the result that uh, we would hate either 1-1 final at home you know upon thinking about it I said earlier that you know St. Louis you know may have had the better go of it upon retrospect I think we're pretty happy with the point um, didn't play our best tonight uh, just a little disjointed on uh, the final third I mean, Big Sam's goal was basically all him. I mean, it was a long ball, and he did all the work from there. But he can't be doing that all the time. Uh, I, had, I hate to say it, I didn't think Thorson looked great tonight. And he was fooled early. I just didn't see much from him at all tonight. I didn't see much from the attack at all tonight. Uh, I mean, we did get more shots on target than Real Salt Lake, which is, which is fine, but just not very clinical tonight, it felt like. But we did enough to get the point, uh, and I say we, I mean Big Sam. Um, he's the man of the match tonight, obviously. But uh, we go again. Next time you see me, it'll be Tuesday in Houston. I will be there. I'll do a, I'll do a vlog style just like this. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to get it up because I'm not taking my laptop with me or anything like that. So yeah, we'll see. Might be Wednesday before you see a recap on that one. Um, we'll see though. It depends how well I can edit um, in the uh, you know, on my phone. We'll see. I'll, I'll try it, but we'll see. But anyway, got a two-one lead in the uh, Concacaf Champions Cup over Houston. See if we can preserve that. 
and then we'll be back here at City Park next Saturday. So if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. If you got any thoughts on the game, please comment below. Be happy to talk with you about it. Probably got some venting to do tonight, but irregardless, this is your soccer zombie, Tom Franklin, and I'll see you next time.